Sunday viewers, listen, if you look out to the yard right now, you might think, ew, it looks gross out there. Your patio furniture is going through a lot this fall. But guess what? Carson Arthur is here to show us Yay! how you can take care of things, right? <laughs> now is the time to get on that patio furniture, that gorgeous yard you created for us, uh, what, two summers ago now? It looks gross right now. <laughs> I, I need that. some help. So does mine, so it's okay. You're not okay. alone on this one. The truth is more people pay attention to the yard in spring summer yes. and they think fall uh it's just wrap up and wrap it away and you know, tuck it away and we won't see it all winter because the snow's going to cover it right the honest answer is right now is the time that you should be prepping your yard for a fantastic next year okay now's the time to do it so let's take a look at some of the spring prep we can do right now when it comes to outdoor furniture well you're gonna have to make some decisions some of it maybe isn't worth saving However, when it comes to aluminum furniture that just has a little bit of damage on the cushions, this is actually one of those times where you want to recover it. Recovering your furniture in the fall is perfect because then you have it set for spring. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So some gorgeous furniture there. You like that furniture? I really do. So we do actually have another secret? before shot of it. So yeah. this is actually how it looks. Tell us the story. Okay. So I was asked to help with this furniture, yeah. and I said, yeah, fantastic, send me a picture. They sent me a picture, and I started laughing. I actually designed this furniture back in 2004. <gasps> so this is my original set, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, so I'm just happy that it lasted as many years as it did. Yay! No, it looks good, and it looks like a timeless design. So well, for sure, I can't plan. believe that's 2000 what? That Four, you designed it? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of hung around there. Yeah. But more and more people are actually looking at their patio furniture thinking, you know, I need to keep this set because it fits perfectly in my space oh, yeah. and I spent a lot of time trying to really find that now you said we had a picture of it before yeah there's a big long linear couch but that was a sectional that could actually be taken apart and changed into components right okay so that's what made that one particularly nice mm -hmm. now it is aluminum furniture aluminum furniture lasts significantly longer than steel in the outdoor space because it doesn't rust right however good stuff in this case it started to go it's been about 10 years you know it's yeah. starting to go so here's an example of what aluminum looks like when it starts to rust it will rust at the bottom Bottom. Mm -hmm. And what happens is the little feet, the little plastic feet, hopefully you can see that there, yeah. those feet hold the moisture against the, the actual metal, which starts the rusting process. Okay. So to fix that, what we did, as you can see here, I actually took my grinder and yeah. I cut off the foot. Oh, that must have hurt. Just yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> yeah, my my chair know. started crying, exactly. <laughs> but I just got simple little wooden dowels, yeah. painted them, pop it in, oh. flip it over. Genius and now we have a chair that nobody's going to be any the wiser ah. that you know it's not the aluminum foot and okay. you can extend that life so much longer that's great mm -hmm. is there anything else we need to know about cleaning this thing up because right now is the time to clean it up before we store it away absolutely you can use pretty much anything on aluminum yeah okay. you can even use bleach now i'm using the b word yeah. because i want you to see the next generation of bleach safe outdoor products yes this okay is that same chair and this Beautiful. fabric is all bleach safe. Really? Yeah, this is some of the new lines from Sunbrella. I now I was able this. to go source this from JF Fabrics. And this is wow. what new outdoor fabric looks like. Isn't that fantastic? That is beautiful. Now, I can't take credit for sewing these cushions because, you know, <laughs> that just didn't happen. So yeah. what I did was I took all the cushions for my set to an actual seamstress. So yeah. Switch Studio, Stacy, I think you've met her before. Yeah. She did all the work for me. But what she did is she said, what kind of fabric do you want to use? I sourced the fabric, picked it out, hand-picked it out so that it would match, you know, some of the detail on the back. Nice. Got it. She did this all for me, and it took her about three days. Now, this outdoor furniture, perfect. I'm going to tuck it away. Yeah. But that first nice day of spring, out it comes. Yes. Done. Easy. It's such a good idea. And, you know, another good idea is to get slip covers. You Love could it. have You could have gotten her to do this in two different outdoor fabrics, and then you can switch it up. Exactly. And that's, that's a great idea. This is the type of thinking that you do at this time of year. Right. Because, to be honest, if you're going to take advantage of sales for outdoor patio furniture fabrics, yeah. now's the time. Now's the time. It's just so hard to get into that mindset, huh? I know. We think, think, oh, I gotta it. buy boots. Let me go buy a patio furniture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, it exactly. Weird. Well, I want to show you one more piece because this yeah. was really exciting for me. Let's talk about wicker a little bit. Now, this piece of wicker furniture was a yard sale find, mm -hmm. circa 1980. Wow. Yeah, isn't that looking fantastic? It looks amazing. Let me tell you, it didn't look like this before. I bet you it didn't. <laughs> we actually took this to a company called Paint It Like New. Yes, and they painted I know them. Them. You know them too. They're they great. painted it so quick for us. And with the new outdoor paint systems, I mean, it really coats because the primer's already built in. If you didn't want to pay for that, you could take it and get it done yourself. This was mm -hmm. a garage sale find that looks like so expensive now. And 
Wicker, let me tell you, is getting more and more expensive as the years go by because yeah. the detail that it takes to really create this kind of effect, it just you're paying for it. Yeah. So it's so much less expensive to go and find it at a yard sale, have it painted, be done. Very nice. Okay, we've got other shots of this furniture looking really good in its face. Well, and it's just, you know, a, a paint job can do wonders. Take a look at how that looks. We mix and match the colors. Yeah. So there's some of the light color that you can see. And I kept it neutral because I wanted the cushions, when we add the cushions to this piece, yeah. to really pop. I didn't want the chair to be the focal point in the space per se. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks great. It looks expensive. That's the right. key here. And again, yard sale fine that we painted. This is the time to do it. You're not going to get these in the spring. Do it in the fall. Let's just talk about cleaning that, because before you actually get it repainted, you have to make sure that the, the furniture is clean. Do I you knew have, you were going to go that way. Got yeah. some tips for us? One of the problems with natural wicker yeah. is after a time, it starts getting mold stains on it. Okay. One of the great products out there is called Concrobium. You can get it at most of the box stores. removes all the mold stains, but it removes oh. the spores as well. If the spores are gone, it won't keep coming back. With the new outdoor paints, especially if they have the primer mixed in, you're mm -hmm. coating right over the top of it. The spores are dead, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm -hmm. They disappear. You don't have to deal with it. Then when it comes to cleaning it, simple soap and water. Okay, so now let me use you for my own personal reasons. Here we go, yeah. So the furniture that I have in my backyard, mm -hmm. that basket weave wicker, so many people have that. It's, yes. it's really hot on the market. How do you clean that? that the, it's, well, it's a plastic resin. It's plastic resin. So it's resin. not real wicker. It's yeah. made to look like that plastic resin. You can use soap and water. You can't yeah. use chemicals on that. If you start using chemicals on it, or if you use a hot water, you can actually stretch the actual fibers. Mm -hmm. So it's just cold soap and water. That's it. If you want to add a little bit extra strength, try some vinegar. Oh, right. Okay, very smart. Easy.